So we are down to 46 volts. Okay, so 46 volts and we are still going. Okay, so you can see how the voltage is dropping so fast. Eee, 100 amp hours full capacity were going. So let's see. So this is why they recommend you cut off at 48 volts. So you can see from 48 volts to 45, 44 volts, we only managed to get like one, two, three amp hours. So once your battery drops to 48 volts like this, you already reach the full capacity. So there's no point um, dropping below. Okay, so it drops. Ooh. So we are done. The discharge is completed now. So it's time to tear down to see how this battery is built. Okay, so we are doing the tear down now to see how this battery is made. So don't do this at home. This is my personal battery. I bought this with my money. So that's why I'm doing the tear down. So I want to know the cells inside and see how it builds. Okay, so we're removing the screws from the side. Okay, so open from here, drop down. Okay, slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay, slowly open it up. Uh -huh. Slowly. Okay, so this is how the battery looks from the inside. So we can see that they use laser welding. I like laser welding very well because they usually hold the same voltage all through their life cycle. Okay, so if you don't have issue with any of the terminal, it means you will never have issues. Okay, so those that use screws usually get loose terminal at some point, but this welded bus bars are the ones using ev vehicles so uh, electric vehicle use all these welded terminals and they don't really have issues like that because they they pass high current and in our home storage if this is used it means we have a very strong bond in terms of the terminal okay so these cells they look like ev cells let's see if it's what they claim so i was scanning one of the qr code to see what manufacturer of the cell is okay so we have about four temperature sensor here you can see ntc3 that's temperature sensor three we have another one ntc1 um ntc4 so you can see they spread um four of them across and there's one here as well so this is the fourth one so there are four um temperature sensor here that is showing t1 to t4 on the BMS. So you can see this is the BMS as well. So I don't know the name of this BMS. So it might be customized one. Okay. So this is 100 amp power. So you can see one coil. So for the 200 amps, I might have a two coil. Okay. So this is the battery terminal positive negative. And you can see the com uh, connection for the old and see the wire as well. So this is the cable. So you can see all the cables have protective shield around them this is very good okay so this is a good build overall okay so you can see yeah so the compression plate is good so they have compression plate all around the battery and each of the cells have their own compression plastic as well which, which make it a good build okay so you can also see this is the a screen this is the board that control the screen and funny enough this has a memory card slot uh slot okay so i don't know what this that is used for maybe for storing data and all so that's a memory card slot there so that's another function that they might have to explore in the future okay so overall in terms of build quality i like this battery very much they tested full capacity and they are highly recommended okay so I'll be seeing one of the cells and scanning the QR code. Okay, so I've opened this up now so we can see how we guided this and also I've scanned this. So you can see 
this is a very new cell okay so they look very neat and new okay so you can see i don't know if my camera is doing justice to this amazing new cells we have here so you can see this is 320 watt hour so if you multiply that by 16 you are getting approximately 5120 watt hours and these batteries live up to the expectation okay so let's go to the qr code so we scan one of this qr code so we scan this exact qr code you can see o4 um o4 qcb and all e e7 so that is the same thing we have here so you can see that is it eve power lf 100 l okay so lf 100 l so you can see the capacity is this 100 amp hours and you can see the energy is 320 watt hours and the manufacturing date is 5th of july 2024 that is just last year and you can see production line is j9 and you can see tax number is 44 and the number of cells produced that day is 3895 the code and you can see that is it so these cells are grade a cells and genuine ev power cells okay thank you